Hi, my name's Denise McCabe and I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator in Australia on the New South Wales Central Coast and this is my card in the cup for Friday the 9th of June. I'm pre-recording this because I'm going to be out for lunch and I'm not sure if I'll be home in time for 2pm for my card in the cuppa so I thought I'd pre-record it. So today we're going to play with um, the Let's Go Shopping or Lay Shops suite of products. Um, it's a really cute little stamp set. It's a real scene builder stamp set. Um, the designer series paper is gorgeous and you can get that 15% off this month. Um, all the, a lot of the design, not all, but nearly all of the designer series paper in the annual catalog is 15% um, off for the month of June. So if you like your designer series paper, now's the time to grab some. So we will flip over to the craft desk and we can get started. Okay, so I'll make sure I'm recording. Yes, good. <laughs> um, okay, so let me find it in the catalogue. That will be the easiest way to show you. So it's on page 30 and 31 in the annual catalogue. It's a really cute set. It's a photopolymer stamp set and it comes in the bundle it comes with the dies to match and you get extra dies in that bundle all sorts of little bits and pieces if you get the whole sweet collection you also get the designer series paper which is really lovely and you get these um, loose silver sequins so they're not adhesive they're loose um, so if you don't like anything that you've got to try and stick down <laughs> by yourself they're not for you <laughs> but the sweet's gorgeous and if you want the sweet it's best not to buy the sweet with the one item number at the moment because you won't get the 15% off the paper you already get 10% off the bundle whether you buy it as a bundle or within the sweet so you're better off buying the stamp set and die bundle the paper and the sequins separately so you would need three item codes for that and then you'll get the paper at 15% off <clears throat> So let's have a look at it. It's really cute and sometimes I struggle with scene building stamp sets, I must say. So I go to the catalogue for ins inspiration and they've got some great inspiration here in the catalogue. So that's your first port of call. If you struggle with a stamp set, look at the inspiration in the catalogue. If that's not enough for you, jump onto Pinterest, type in the stamp set, like let's go shopping, stamping up stamp set and that should bring up quite a few um, ideas for you. So, so this is the stamp set and the bundle is $83.50 so that's the stamp set and dies and I've got my dies inside here and you've got other die, dies that cut out the stamps, the shop front and bits and pieces of the stamp set. Then you've got some other decorative pieces like some foliage around the top of the shop front foliage on the side there's a lamp a bench little canopies over the shop front um, these cut out pots this cuts out the little cafe easel sign uh, yeah so and you can cut out the windows and all sorts of things you can you can really play with this stamp set so that's the stamp set and dies now this is the designer series paper so you get you get three sheets with all these little shops already stamped. Now the dies won't cut all of them out, it will cut this one, but you can fuss, the die will cut the little sandwich board, but you can fussy cut them. So I actually took three of the six sheets, so one of each sheet. Look how gorgeous they are, so cute. Um, I took that downstairs last night and whilst I was watching TV, I fussy cut three of the sheets out. So I've got lots of little shop fronts here to play with that are from the paper, the paper alone. So you've got three pages, or six actually, two of each design um, of the shop fronts. And as you can see, the back is quite um, neutral. You could use it for any kind of card front. I'm not, I've already hacked into that one. <laughs> I'll put that one aside. You've got one that looks like the pebbled stone pathways. And then it's got a whole lot of bakery items on the other side. I'm using this for the for the roadways or pathways on my cards. I might use one, one the other sheet for the 
um, bakery items I'm not sure yet you've got one with a little teeny tiny like little ro shop rows of shop shop fronts and then the other side is this blue one so I've cut up cut into that as well I always find when there's a paper sale I'm not as afraid to cut into my paper because I know I can get another pack cheaper <laughs> I know, a bit silly. And then you've got one that's books and like paint tubes on one side. And just uh, yellow, I think that's Daffodil Delight. Or it could be Crushed Curry, not sure. Um, I think it's Daffodil Delight on the other side. Quite neutral, could use it on any type of card front. So, and see the backs, if you don't like the shop fronts, you can use the back of the shop front paper. But I like the shop fronts. So I cut them all out. One page of each design all out. Just fussy cut them in while I was watching TV last night. So I've got a stash there. And then this is my scraps of when I cut my paper down. Okay, so I'm thinking this video might be a fraction longer than normal. Because I'm going to try and make two cards. So this was my first play. And I will grab my catalogue again. And show you how, where I got the inspiration from. Get rid of the envelope. Okay, so this one here is where I got the inspiration from. I just changed the colours around a little bit. Um, I've got to tell you something funny. See these little things? For some reason, I thought they were coat hangers, <laughs> but then I realised they're actually lampshades. So they're lights. <laughs> so how stupid am I? <laughs> But anyway, um, I made it into a cafe. I put the little table and chairs inside the window. Um, so I die cut, stamped and die cut the shop front. I cut a lamp post out, stamped and die cut um, the sandwich board and stamped and coloured and die cut the, the flower pot. But there are flower pots on the paper. And... I just fussy cut those ones out. So if you don't want to stamp and colour a flower pot, you can go to your paper pack of fussy cutting and get a little get a little flower pot out of there. So it's just entirely up to you as to what you want to do. I'll keep my little bag of tricks out. Um, so I die cut the canopy over the window um, and I used a stylish shaped die for the sentiment. So it's just really, really cute. So as I said, I got my inspiration from here. I didn't use the same colours. I just went off on my own tangent. And um, I made that, made this. Now, if my dog starts barking, that'll be me and my husband's just got home. So I will go and shut my door if that happens. <laughs> okay, so I'll move my catalogue to one side and my sample card. Okay, I've done a little bit of pre-cutting in anticipation so I've got a basic white card base for this card and I've got a balmy blue layer I've got my basic white card front layer and I've got a strip of my cobblestone pathway so the first thing I'm going to do is attach my cobblestones onto my card front piece. So it's not really a stamp set that you can whip up a card quickly unless you cut all the designer series paper out, <laughs> the shop fronts of the designer series paper. Um, it is really one that you play with and you build it which can be a lot of fun okay so i've got that ready to go and now i've got this so i shall get my paper piercing mat now what's happened here nothing <laughs> i think i just bumped my mouse and i thought there was something going on with the video okay so i shall get my stamp set and i shall get my shop front and put it onto a block and with Versa, not Versamark, Black Memento, I'm just going to ink up my shop front and 
looks pretty good and I'm just going to stamp it down here because we are going to die cut this out so if you're using photopolymer you do get a better impression with paper piercing mat or a mouse pad <clears throat> um, you can use it without but I tend to use it when I use one when I'm stamping with photopolymer just so I get a nice a nice um, image clear that off and I'm going to get um, the books where are the books here they are down here so I'm going to make this one a bookshop So these are the books. I'm going to ink up my books. I'm going to put them in the window. Oopsie. Okay, so I'll try not to bring my head in, but I will just line it up. Hopefully, and my books won't be on a slant. Now that's pretty good. I think I'm happy with that. Oh, they are on a bit of a slant, aren't they? The shelves in the bookshop are slanting. <laughs> Let's try that all again. <laughs> we can't have slanty bookshelves. Book. No, we can't have that. Okay, so let's try that again. Okay, see how we go. Bring it down so I might just have to bring my head in just to stamp it. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> okay, let's go back to our first one. Our first one is fine. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so now I'm going, I'm going to, before I colour anything in, I'm going to die cut it out. Um, that's just what I prefer to do. And um, because then if I don't die cut it straight, I haven't spent all that time colouring in. And, you know, that could be bad. <laughs> so let me grab my little cutting boss machine and the plate and the tape now we could fix the bookshelves by um, cutting the window out but I'm not sure if I want to do that <laughs> so let's just wait and see how we go let's just wait and see so I'm just going to grab this die the shop front die Put it the right way round. Maybe it's an old shop, an old bookshop, and the shelves are bending <laughs> under the weight of the books. Let's go with that anyway. Okay. As I said I won't throw this one out because I can cut the window out actually we'll do that now and I'll just show you how you can do that that's not too bad yes that is my husband home I can hear the garage door now so I'm glad we let Rosie out <laughs> so here's the window so let me grab my pokey tool and there we go <laughs> have a very well that's not right is that right what? that's not going to work oh it's the inside of the window yes it will work oh Denise you're a worry I've had a very social week this week with my birthday this week and that's why I'm not live today because I'm still out having lunch with friends <laughs> so why not hey you only have a big birthday once. So 
so you might as well party all week. Okay, so you can cut your window, cut your window out. I'm not sure if I like that, but I'll play with that piece and see what I think later on because I've got some little marks there. But I might be able to work with it. You never know what you can do. So that's that. Now what else did I want? In my little, I've already got a little pack of stuff here. I've already got one I pre-coloured, but, you know, we won't do that. I've got a lamp post that I've already die cut. I've got a pot that I've already cut and die cut, coloured and die cut. And it's got a park bench, and I really like the park bench, so we're going to use that. And then I've got some um, foliage here. So if I bring this down, there are other ones. Not for today. If I bring this down, we've got some foliage we could put along. Or we've got... So as I said, it's a real scene builder set. Or we could put some foliage down like this. You know, there's multiple ways of foliaging. Quite like that. We'll just we'll play. Okay, and I don't think I want anything else with my cut emboss machine. I don't think I do. <laughs> but who knows? here so we'll just do a little bit of colouring on the shop front and you know what I've just worked out there was one thing I wanted to do <laughs> oh that's not what I want honestly okay well we'll just colour first so I'm going to use Daffodil Delight light and dark I think and maybe little pink let's see what we can come up with so these are the stamping blends if you don't have them they're alcohol ink markers and they're really good and this one you don't do a lot of blending this stamp set doesn't require a lot of blending um, well I don't think it does <laughs> but because you're sort of just colouring in little bits. And yeah, I don't think this one, this stamp set requires a lot of blending. But if you do use your blends for blending, I everybody uses them differently. But I use the dark one first and then go over it with the light one and blend the light and dark together. That's me. <laughs> um, but yeah, as I said, everybody does use their blends quite differently. Okay, so I'm going to colour the shop front in, in the light Daffodil Delight, and I think that's my little Rosie going off now. <laughs> so I'm just colouring in this, just colouring this in very quickly for the purpose of the video. You could take a lot more time and precision than what I'm doing here today. But it's really cute. I do like it. <coughs> now, I normally have a little scrap when I'm using my blends. Just to see where I'm at and what I'm doing. So I'm going to do my door in petal pink. Dark petal pink. And I'm going to leave the centre clear. Because that's like as if it's um, glass. Well, that's what I think anyway. And this is like um, a letter box, I think. Like, you know, pop your letters through the, the slot in the door. I think that's enough with that one. <clears throat> I will get my crumb cake out. Maybe my light crumb cake. And I'll do, I'll do my door, my letter box. So a little slot there. And maybe the sign on the door. 
this takes me back to school and colouring in with school <laughs> you just sort of do what you want when you want <laughs> okay I'm going to do the doorstep in my dark crumb cake okay so that's that and now I'm going to colour in my books just put these ones away so we don't get into a mess okay my books I've got balmy blue so I can do one book balmy blue okay. oops I went up too high I have to get my color lifter out I'll do this book here that's what happens when you're rushing so you've got a colour lifter, this white colour lifter and if you do go outside the lines you just need to get your colour lifter and go over and that takes the colour off. It's like a magic eraser. Mm -mm -mm. Okay let's do Granny Apple Green on one book. I might do these spines, Granny Apple Green. What's this one? Light Melon Mambo. Okay, let's have a Light Melon Mambo book. And we'll make this one a Melon Mambo book too. And what else can we do? Okay, let's do Fresh Freesia. Is that Fresh Freesia? I'm not sure. Yep. Light Fresh Freesia. I'll just do this. That's not a book. It looks like a sign on a little easel. So that's, that's enough. Okay. So before we do anything else, I am going to get my blue blending brush and I'm not going to actually even ink it up. I'm just going to put some blue onto our card card because I haven't cleaned my brush so I still have some blue on it as you can see and it's just a little shade to have some sky in the background doesn't need much that's why I'm not inking it back up again okay you can probably can't see that but if I bring it up you can see it it is there trust me <laughs> so we've got our little I'm just going to position everything we've got a little shop Got our seat here. And go read a sit down and have a read of a book. We've got our lamp post. And now we've got a bit of our greenery. Let's see. And I think if I do this over the top, it just makes it look a little bit more I don't know maybe I shouldn't do that over the top looks like there's a pencil mark on that but that can't be right because it's my pencil now I have got adhesive sheet on the back of these dies because I had scrap in my scrap basket yeah I think that looks all right Okay, I'm going to put my shop front down flat. How are we going? 25 minutes we've been going. Okay, so I'm just going to put it down flat onto my cobblestones. There we go. Those bookshelves don't look too crooked. <laughs> 
and I'm going to grab some dimensional. I've got my pokey tool somewhere on here. Yes. <coughs> For my flower pot. So this is one I had stamped and pre-coloured and had just put it into my bag of bits. Or you could use one that's colored, um, cut out of the paper. So I'm going to put my pot plant there. And I'm going to get the peely adhesive sheet off the back here. So as I said, if you don't want to get the stamp set and dies, you could get the paper and create a whole lot of shop fronts from the designer series paper by cutting all the little shop fronts, plus you're cutting all the little shop fronts out like I've done. And you can do it that way if you wish. So I'm going to... I'll put it over a little bit to allow for our foliage. Okay, I'll put this foliage on next. And there we go, that's on there. And this one, yes, I think it's got sticking on it too. Woohoo. Otherwise, you could just put a little dog of glue. That would work as well. So I have had quite a busy birthday week. We went out on Sunday lunch with our adult kids. We went out for dinner on Tuesday evening with some friends. I was out for lunch today with a friend. And I'm out for lunch on Friday as well. That's why I'm pre-recording this. And then on Sunday, we're going to see down to Sydney to see Mamma Mia the musical. So it's been a bit of full-on week. <laughs> I do love this little park bench. He's so cute. You know what? So I shall put it down here because they can go and have a little, have a little read at the park bench. Or should I put it up here and move my pot plant? A big decision you know what I'm gonna do that this is called create on the fly I'm gonna cut my little pot plant off and I'm gonna get my thing my rubber thing out see even though I had decided where to put my scenes I changed my mind <laughs> it's a woman's prerogative isn't it Okay, so I'm going to put my little bench here because they can come out of the bookshelf, bookstore and come and sit on their bench and have a little read. And let me get the dimensionals off. So if you do play something with dimensionals put and you don't like where you put it, put your paper snips underneath and cut them off. And then just pull it off like so. That's the way... You re um, reattach dimensional dimensional piece of stamping. Okay, so I'm going to put my pot plant over here near my lamp. I think that's nice. Okay. Now I was going to go back and die cut this out and put it over there, but I'm not going to worry because that will take too long. So I'm going to attach this to my card front, matting piece. How cute, so cute. Um, but yeah, use the catalogue for insp inspiration to start yourself off with, um, particularly with scene building stamp sets, because if you're anything like me, I struggle a little bit at first. Don't quite know how to start. Okay. We'll put that onto our card front. Our card base, I mean. And... I could... No, I think I put my books up too high. There's this um, stamp. Yeah, I put my books up too high. 
if I put my books down lower, I could have used that little stamp to fill in that instead of die cutting a thing thingo out. Okay, get rid of that. And I shall grab my box of bits. Bits, bits, bits. Um, 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 um. Hmm. Just having a little look through my little box of tricks. This one's cute. It's too big. <laughs> we might have to go with this one. And I could put that. I could put that there, or I could put it down here. Hmm. Let's see. I'll get rid of that little box of bits. And what colour are we going to stamp it? I think Barley Blue is calling. And we've got we've got a happy birthday. Is that going to be big enough though for a little banner? No, it's a bit small, I think. Let's see what else we've got in here. Or I could just stamp it straight on. But I don't know if I want to do that. This one. It's still a bit small for that, really, isn't it? Let's see what this one looks like. Now that's a bit too chunky, clunky, chunky. Okay. Let's go back to the drawing board. Happy birthday. Uh, there's one here that says let's get together. So let's do that, I think. Try not to bring my head in. There we go. That fits that banner quite nicely. And where are the other dimensionals? Here they are. There we go. No. I'm going to put it like so. So that's one card. And if you've got time, because I have gone 34 minutes, if you've got time, I thought I'd create another one just using the paper. And card base so that's misty moonlight this is a piece of the paper which i thought i'd put there and it's got sort of shop fronts on it already and then this is one that i've cut out with the paper and i thought i could put that there and just we could just create a cute little shop front so let's have a go Oops, this is getting a bit low. Get rid of the base. It's just a fun little set to play with. It really is. I'm just sort of centering that. And then this one I can pop over the top. And I can put that on dimensionals to make it sort of stand up a little bit. And this is this has just been fussy cut from the paper. So the other paper that you can do this with is um, Zoo Crew, the one with all the cute animals. You can um, just get the paper and fussy cut the animals out and have them all ready to go. 
them for card fronts. This is not working for me. <laughs> I'm trying to rush. Don't rush. Works when I'm not rushing. Okay, now I just want to make sure I cover the background paper like so. How cute is that? I'm going to put that there. But before I do that, I want to see what else. So this has got art type things in it. So let's see, there's a little banner, but we have to cut that out. So let's do something we've already got cut in my little box of tricks. We could do this. I still think this one's a bit chunky. Let's go to this one again. Stylish shape, guys. Never fails to succeed. We can do that. And I'm going to grab my go-to greetings. Here we go. And I'm going to do this as a happy birthday. Pull that one off. Stick that there. Okay. And I'm going to do that in Misty Moonlight because that's that colour there. And I will just stamp it down here, make sure I've, yes, I seem to have mounted this one straight. So I'll try not to bring my head in. Perfect. Okay, now the other thing I want to do, I want to pop that there. And I will pop it up on dimensionals. But before I do that I thought I might put a little bit of something <laughs> some twine maybe look at all this messed up twine let's go with the white a little bit of twine or I could make a bow hmm, let's think about this I could just do that Pop that behind. I don't like that. <laughs> Let's do a little bow. I'm not good with um just messy twine hanging around. <laughs> it's not it's not a me thing. So I'm really looking forward to Mamma Mia on Sunday. I was a big ABBA fan when I was a teenager. <laughs> I loved ABBA. So I am looking forward to seeing that on Sunday. Okay, so that's not doing what it should do. Just trying to see what other ribbon I've got. No, this will work. We'll just make it work. Okay. We'll make it work. Okay, so I might pop this on first. So sorry I've gone a bit longer today. <laughs> I just wanted to show you this sweet. It's so cute. I might pop that on first. Like so. And then I shall grab a glue dot roll it over a little bit and put my little bit of white baker's twine onto that and I could put it up here actually there we go and I'm going to put that flat onto my card front so you can see with the pre-cut 
paper of all the little shops, how quickly it comes together. But if you do like to colour and do scene building, then if you get the stamp set and the dies, you can do a lot, a lot more with that. Okay, so let's clear the decks. So I probably will put a little bit of bling. I don't know if that one needs bling. Let's have a look what bling we've got. Um, 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 um. Oh, I've got these new ones today, tinsel gems. Oh, they look pretty. So let's let's put some of these on this one. I'll put one there. And maybe one up here. And maybe a big one somewhere. Maybe not. Maybe it just needs two on that card. What about this card? Let's do something different on this card. So they're tinsel gems in the annual catalogue. They're $13.25. I think that's Fresh Freeze, Real Misty Moonlight, and I'm not sure. <laughs> I'd have to look that one up for you. So that's not much help, is it? <laughs> okay, let's go to Iridescent Pearls. They're pretty nice for this card. Okay, let's have a little think about it. I'll put, oh, I shall put a large one here. Maybe two large ones on either end. And maybe a teeny one somewhere else. Maybe just up here. Okay, so they were the iridescent pearls also in the annual catalogue. So, what do you think of those cards? Um, let's grab the stamp set and our first one. They're pretty cute, aren't they? Like, they just, they're just really cute. We can just imagine sitting on that park bench um, or going into this cafe. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's um, the Let's Go Shopping or Lady Shops Sweet Collection. But as I said, with the Designer Series Paper Sale this month, don't buy a sweet collection. You're better off buying the Stamp Set Bundle and the DSP separately, um, separate item numbers. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, let me come back. Oh, I've got to find my mouse. It always disappears. There it is. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that it's a fun little set to play with and it's just really fun and a bit of colouring in a bit of fussy cutting um, but the dies of the lamp post and the little bench park bench I think they're really cute so I hope you enjoyed that and sorry I've gone a little bit longer today but um, I hope you have a great weekend and I shall see you on Monday for my Makeup Monday